hi and welcome back to makeup mistress well uh, today uh, i am going to uh, try one hack that so yes today i'm going to try this hack that has been uh, explained by follow me tutorials uh, so uh, she is color correcting uh, so let's just see okay the video so eye shadow palette ke saath she is going to color correct so basically she is going to color correct with powder product which is basically our eye shadow palette and uh, i'm going to try this out and uh, i'm just going to follow her and i'll just put the link uh, to this video also in my description you can go and check that out and uh, let me just begin so uh, at first she is uh, saying that we need to hydrate our face really well and uh, for hydration i think i'll go with this on super light gel and uh, okay and i'm going to just use it all over my face okay so uh, you guys can ask that uh, what i will color correct because i don't have such things so uh, the little bit whatever i have um so uh, I, I'm just gonna see whether this powder product works or not. So yes, it can be helpful for many. And yes, that's it. Uh, my face is well hydrated and moisturized. And now um, she has used some face primer, which I'll be using. So I'm using this Lacme Absolute Face Primer. This much is enough for me. And I'm just going to apply this all over and now i'll take this eyeshadow palette this is from the palette beauty glazed and it has such such beautiful shades so uh, it has browns oranges and darker orange lighter orange every kind of orange so uh, i think today i'll use this orange this one is perfect for the skin type i am in and uh, i'll use a brush a concealer brush this one too she used this brush from the earthy ways so this one she used uh, i i think i'll go with this so yeah mm, let me just take the product and enough i think and i will start applying around my mouth so this area is little bit you know uh, pigmented okay okay and here her i have a big 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 pimple mark and i'll take a like a little more product and just use it your your and the areas i feel that they might look little flawless so let me just do that and uh, she said that you have to blend it really nicely because it's powder and so i should not be sweating but i'm really sweating a lot uh okay and here okay some around my eyes because at times i i do feel that they should be little more clearer <laughs> okay and i was not well for the past few days i was charming and it was really painful guys and whenever i charm it's really painful oh i don't know why this happens and yeah it's so painful so yes i think that is it 
for me and yeah so i'll just make sure that everything is in place it is i'm looking horrendous right never mind let me jump into let me just see that whether she has jumped into directly to the foundation or something else according to your skin to keep to as a to acche se blending motion mein isko apply kare mere channel par lips aise hi blend karti hu blend hone se lokega iske baad main koi bhi ek foundation le lungi ye hai wet and wild ka foundation ye buildable foundation hai aap build kar sakte ho to ise main so she has taken this wet and wild foundation Wait, I have wet and wild foundation. Okay, I got this. This is my wet and wild foundation, and I'm in the shade. What is the shade? Mm, beige desert, desert beige. Okay, okay. Okay, I think this much is sufficient. One spatula full. Okay, now I'll use my sponge. This is a cleaner sponge. Come on, um, you know after using it several times, it becomes like this, and I don't know how to remove all of the stains. Yeah, it is very difficult. Being a makeup artist, it's really difficult. Okay, so let's hope. for the best okay i need more foundation so again one spatula full product Okay well I don't know whether uh, if if I'm not color correcting I need so much of product or not but the thing is for people who have really bad uh, skin issues they must be needing a lot of foundation so yeah let us just dab 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 okay so just one thing that i'm noticing is just to hide the orange thing uh you need a lot of foundation a lot and for people who are uh not really a pro they might face difficulty because they are not that pro in blending the product so it might be a difficult thing for some let me just switch the ac because i'm just like i'm just melting and you guys listen to music so yes after using two spatula full foundation on my face um i don't know whether the camera is able to catch that or not but uh, uh what i feel is i can see a little bit of orange here uh even after i have used a lot of foundation and according to her she used uh, this wet and wild and i'm using the wet and wild one only so there should not be any difference and uh, you know um um i think i should uh, use you know i don't know i think i should use more foundation oh ho oh, why my camera is behaving this way so yes i think i should um use a little more foundation um i'm not sure um but yeah let me just use uh some on the areas that i have color corrected and yeah so i think that will be enough 
Um, hmm. So let me just blend. Okay, so now it's totally gone. Mm -hmm. Now it's totally gone, and I can see my face just the way it is. And let me just use some powder on top of it um, so that this settles. So yes, I have just applied a little bit of uh, uh, blush and uh, highlight. So the conclusion that I've come up is uh, this firstly works. This absolutely works. And uh, if uh, you have, um, actually if you don't have any other option, you may go for this powder orange correction. But uh, uh, firstly, uh, there is one thing that uh, I don't like uh, that if unnecessarily you have to lather your skin up with a lot of foundation which is i think uh, not my type of thing and i think which most of the girls don't like and these days makeup is about uh, uh, you know uh, doing the minimal makeup you do your makeup definitely doing but it should not be too much of cakey and stuff because you know what i feel is a lot of girls and and, it, and it's really um uh, um, a common thing because everyone is not a professional so if you're not a professional you may not have those skills of blending and stuff even from here I can see if like orangey uh, hue coming out uh, I don't know for why so maybe uh, because I ha I'm not used to using uh, orange color correctors and uh, stuff so yeah I think uh, you can because if 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 you don't have any other option then you can go for this powder can, uh, correction if you have option then always uh, do try to use a shade darker than your skin tone it looks more natural I think uh, it's my totally totally my view but yes um, uh, this hack does work and however it is it works and uh, only thing is that you have to lather your face with a lot of foundation to hide those orangey um, you know color that keeps on peeping uh, from your foundation or um, uh, maybe I because I have used this wet and wild which she also used if, if you I have uh, like if, if I have used some full coverage foundation which is like uh, Huda Beauty or Bobbi Brown and stuff so it might have um you know uh, been better i think um but yeah it works so i think that was it for today i just wanted to see if it works or not and it works definitely and um, yeah that is it for today i'll see you guys really soon and if you want me to do any other uh hack or trick or anything that other youtubers have done let me know in the comment section and do follow me on my instagram and facebook so yes i'll see you guys really soon don't forget to stay gorgeous